Good morning, everybody. We all have our favorite adventure stories, don't we? And for many, Robinson Crusoe is one of the greats. Well, that was actually based on a true story of a guy named Alexander Selkirk, who was rescued on this date, February 2, in 1709, on a little island off the coast of South America. Alexander Selkirk was born in Scotland in 1676, and in his 20s, he became a privateer. This is a privateer ship. Privateers basically were licensed by their government to raid on the ships of the enemy, in this case, the Spanish. Well, at one point in the story, Selkirk asked his captain to let him live on this island, which is called Robinson Crusoe Island off the coast of Chile, because Selkirk didn't think the ship was going to last very long, so the captain said, okay, and here's the island. He gave Selkirk some tools, he gave him a Bible, and Selkirk decided he was going to live there. Well, one of his early foods was the spiny lobster. It seems that he first lived right on the beach, and the lobsters were pretty easy to get. But because the sea lions were making quite a racket, he couldn't sleep, so he ended up moving inland. That's where he started cutting down trees to make structures and so on. Crucial to his survival was the feral goat. So goats were wild. They had been there from other sailors. He used them for food, for clothing. This is the wild turnip, which is quite abundant there. So he was pretty good at scavenging around for things that were edible. Another plant that he used quite a bit was uh, the pink peppercorn. So all the time, he's looking for a ship on the horizon to rescue him, but it's not going to happen for four years. So here he is in one of his two structures. You'll notice he doesn't have any shoes on. Looks like his shoes had rotted away, but then he got really calloused feet, and he was able to get around the island pretty well. Well, our event is on this date, February 2, 1709. He was rescued. Now, there had been two Spanish ships that had stopped at the island, but he stayed hidden because the Spanish were the enemy. So he was there for four years and four months, ended up going back to sea, and then he died in 1721 of yellow fever. So a few years after he was rescued, one of his shipmates wrote this, wrote this book, and if you can see the, toward the middle, it mentions his name, Alexander Selkirk. Ten years after his rescue, Daniel Defoe wrote Robinson Crusoe. And you'll notice in the picture, there's a guy wearing goat skins, which makes sense if the story is about Selkirk. But the Crusoe story is in the Caribbean, where goat skins would be way too warm. In the early 1800s, there was a German version of the story called The Swiss Family Robinson. They were shipwrecked in Indonesia and, of course, had to carry on. In the 1830s, a book came out by an anonymous author supposedly telling the true story of the guy who became the model for Robinson Crusoe. There are modern versions of this. This one from the 1950s is about boys who are stranded on an island and have to live together, and it doesn't work out so great. In the 1880s, the town of Selkirk built a statue for him, so here he is on the lookout for rescuers. And in the plaque, Beneath the statue, it gives a little bit of his story, but you'll notice it's got the words Robinson Crusoe in there. So he, as the model for Robinson Crusoe, is, is pretty popular. This is on the island itself, Robinson Crusoe Island off the coast of Chile. You can see a statue to Selkirk. Supposedly there's a trail to the Selkirk lookout. And in 2002, some people were digging around at the Selkirk lookout, and they found some navigational dividers. Not the ones you see here, but things like that, and they think were probably Selkirk's. Well, in 2000, the movie Castaway came out. Tom Hanks, kind of the Robinson Crusoe story, a little bit. And then those of us of a certain age remember Gilligan's Island, where they were castaways. Supposedly, a cruise near Hawaii went wrong and all kinds of adventures. So the next time you're in the Albany, New York area, you may see an exit for Selkirk, New York. Another reminder of that intrepid 
sailor. <laughs>